Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. This is a lecture three on the series of uh, lectures that we are recording related to panel data analysis. In this video, we are going to talk about uh, how do we test the significance of the time dummy or industry dummy that we include in our uh, panel data analysis. Uh, so let's import the data that we had been working with in our previous video that is NLS work uh, data. Uh, we contain uh, the uh, different individuals for different time periods, their uh, different data sets, for example, their wage, number of hours that they have worked, their total experience, etc. And one thing that we are uh, we have discussed in our previous videos is that we can use a uh, time uh, dummy variable. Uh, so let's regress wage on hours and total experience and include time dummy variable. Remember to include a dummy variable, um, or, I mean to generate or include the, the dummy variable of certain uh, category, categorical variable, we just have an i dot before that variable. Uh, so it would execute the regression. This would be simple OLS regression and all the time uh, dummy had been created. So these are year 69, 70, etc. Uh, and we get our results. If we wanted to test whether uh, we need to include these dummy year dummy variables or not, that is, should we have a time fixed effect or not, then we use this vault test uh, using the command test PARM. And, uh, but then before using this test, we would have to execute this regression. We have already done that. Uh, so test PRM and then I dot ear, which is dummy variable, it would just test the joint significance of all these dummies that we have included on, in our previous uh, uh, estimation that we have performed. And what this test would do is we just have to focus on the probability value, this P value. And if P value is greater than 0 0.05, then we say that time fixed effect or whatever fixed effect that we are trying to test uh, does not exist. And if p-value is less than 0.05, that is, it, it is significant, then these dummies are jointly significant. And in this case, we mean that the time fixed effect would exist and we should include this time uh, or year dummies. We cannot just do this with a simple OLS regression. We can also do it with the fixed effect or random effect. For example, let me just perform this. So we first run the fixed effect, then perform the year dummy and interpret it the same way. Similarly, we can do that with the random effect models. Uh, so uh, it is not necessary that we just do uh, year dummy. It can be industry dummy, right? We have this industry code in our data. Uh, so we can do uh, industry code dummies instead of year dummies and uh, that is what we would test uh, with this uh, same method. Now, how do we export these results? Because we have got a lot of uh, dummy variables over here and we need to specify whether we have used year fixed effect or not. So let's look into how to export this. So I'm running, I'm executing the same regression uh, where we have year fixed effect. And what I'm doing is I'm using this outrec2 uh, although we have a uh, lot of videos related to outtake 2 command. Uh, so I we write the command name, then the word using, and then the name of the file that will store the data. And then we want the data to be stored in MS Word format. Uh, if there is any file, then replace that file. We want to limit the decimal points instead of having all these decimal digits. We would just limit that to three decimal digits. Uh, we can add column title, and this is what the uh, uh, what we we want to focus on is we add text. So at the end it would write year fixed effect, and in next column it would say uh, yes, right? So let me just execute this, and you would get the idea what it means. So it would generate an MS Word file, okay. Uh, so this file contains our variable of interest and all the dummies, although we do not want these dummies, but I would get back to them uh, that how can we remove these dummies. 
and then we have included over here is this word which is coming from here this add text uh, which says year fixed effect it will write it in the first column and then whatever word we have got over here would go into the second column uh, we can have uh, multiple kind of fixed effects, say for example, ear fixed effect and industry fixed effect. So I've included both of them. Uh, so we get uh, we get the ear fixed effects, ear dummies, and then we get the industry dummies. Now, how do we report them? Uh, the rest of the command stays the same. In the add text, we write ear fe. It says yes. Uh, and then industry F fixed effect, which also says yes. So if I just close the previously opened file and execute this command, uh, that would append the data uh, in the previous table instead of replacing the old file. So this is how it looks like. This is the second column that had been generated over here. You can see we have year fixed effect and industry fixed effect. Uh, it shouldn't be empty. Uh, if you want a no written over here, then what we could have done is similar case. We could have written industry fixed effect, comma, no. And then this no would come over here, right? So this is how uh, you can generate these publication style uh, tables. Lastly, let's look into how can we remove these dummies because we do not report these dummies in our publication. We just, uh, you know, include them in our regression but do not report them. For that, we use this drop option in the outlet to command and we write uh, whatever uh, variable that we want to exclude, right? So I just want to exclude the ear dummies and the industry dummies. And our, our table look, look now um, ready to be included in, in our publication, right? So the industry dummies or ear dummies had been excluded from the table, but they had been included in the regression. They are not just reported in the, in the table. Uh, I hope that was useful. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Do subscribe to this channel and do hit the bell icon.